You are now tuned into the Boxing Bros. This is G Day, Boxing Bros Sunday, and this is G Block. I'm here with my co host. What's going on, everybody? It's the Commissioner, Trill Dollar Bill. You already know what it is. It's LLG for life. It's time to get activated. That's right. It's time to get activated and be on the lookout for the release of Trill Dollar Bill's album coming out soon. What's the name of the album, my brother? Do you have a name yet? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called the Transformation of Trill. Transformation of Trill. So be on the lookout mm-hmm. for that. The first topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros. Who does boxing miss more? Devin Haney or Ryan Garcia? <laughs> we're going to listen to what Ryan Garcia said on a Say Cheese interview, and then we're going to discuss it. So th- Ryan Garcia's comments are the reason why we're asking this question. So here's what uh, Ryan Garcia said on the interview you got Devin Haney finally at the OC fair so when he returned to boxing he said boxing missed me for three months nobody even knew you were gone your dad if your daddy ain't speaking nobody gives a fuck about you second of all how are you gonna fight a random ass civilian in the OC fair or didn't even get a knockout there you can't even knock out a civilian let alone a professional fighter you got Devin Haney finally at the OC fair. So when he so returned- heard what Ryan Garcia said, he said, basically, Devin said people were missing him and boxer was missing him. And he said, no one knew you were gone and brought up the incident at the fair. So, as you know, Ryan Garcia suspended for a year due to testing positive for trace amounts of Osterine in the system. So we're asking Trill Dollar Bill, who does boxing miss more? Do they miss Devin Haney more or do they miss Ryan Garcia? Because both of them have been absent for the sport of boxing since their last fight. I know this is going to sound a little cliche, but I think it's a little bit of 50 50 because people want to see how each guy is going to be since, you know, their layoffs. You know, is Devin going to be the fighter that he once was before he was, um, you know, Abused by uh, Ryan Garcia, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or is you know, and how Ryan's gonna perform when he comes back? Because people got questions, you know, uh, how how he is. The thing is, people want to know is all these guys gonna meet again in the ring once again? You know, um, that's another thing people are wondering. Um, so, yeah, I think it's 50-50. People want to see what Ryan's going to do, and people want to see what Devin's going to do. Um, even you see it in our comment sections when we talk about the, uh, the two guys. You got some guys that's still uh, riding with um, Ryan, saying that, you know, that left that Austrian had nothing to do with that left hook. And you got the people riding for Devin still. Oh, I can't believe y'all still talking about this drug cheat. He cheated. You know, Devin's the man. You know what I'm saying? So it's still 50 50. You know what I'm saying? For what I'm saying, it's 50 50. I can't wait to see both gentlemen and what they do um, moving forward. I would love to see uh, Devin get get back, you know, because I definitely don't believe it was the Osterine. I believe it was what Devin said it was. Um, and I'm trying to I'm trying to find his his quote. I'm trying to find the Devin Haney quote where he was talking about the the fight, and he admitted what was going on. Eventually, it changed, you know, with everything else that happened. When I find it, I'm I'm, I'm gonna quote the the great uh, Devin Haney. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you can be on the lookout for that. I'll just uh, jump in, and then if you find it, I'll stop and let you uh, read the quote and give your take on it. So for me, it's interesting because Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney have both been uh, absent from boxing since their fight, which the world was talking about because of the results of that fight. It was a very exciting fight. It was an entertaining fight, and Ryan Garcia pulled off the upset. But since then... Uh, Ryan Garcia has been suspended because he tested positive for trace amounts of Osterine and Devin Haney has been suspended indefinitely due to the damage and the punishment that he took in that fight. So who does boxing miss more? Now, for me, you got to go to the numbers on this one. Ryan Garcia has always been a draw. And if you look at Ryan Garcia and his fight with Tank, they did great numbers. One point two million. And the fans were excited about the fight. 
Tank brought in his fans. Ryan Garcia brought in his fans, and they did fantastic numbers. Um, and then you look at the fight with Devin Haney. Reports say it did about 500,000 pay-per-view buys. Prior to that, Devin Haney didn't officially release his numbers that he did in his pay-per-view fight against Regis Progray, but reports were that it did as low as 50,000 pay-per-view buys, right? So if you look at that, Devin Haney's never really been a draw. And even if you look at his fight with Vasily Lomachenko, which that was a huge fight, um, the reports were that it did about 150,000 pay-per-view buys. So in terms of the fans and who the fans are going to support and who the fans are going to pay to see, I would say the fans are missing Ryan Garcia more, right? But you're right, True Dollar Bill. Devin does have his pocket of fans. And when I mean pocket, I mean like a small pocket of fans that uh, that go hard for Devin. And when I say go hard, the pun is intended. And so, um, you know, they do everything they can. They, they, they do everything for a retweet. They do just to get acknowledgement from Devin. So he does have his diehard fan boys, and I'm sure that they're missing him too. Now, Dollar Bill, you said something. We've been saying it on Boxing Bros, actually. We want Devin to fight Ryan again. Exactly. Watch the fight, bro. If Ryan land the left hook, he hurt Devin. He dropped Devin. But the rounds where he didn't land the left hook, Devin was winning. Exactly. A lot of people hate us because we tell the truth. If I was Devin, this is no bull. If I was Devin, I would want a rematch. I've watched guys like Miguel Cotto. We talk about it all the time. Miguel Cotto was whooping Margarito. And then all of a sudden, his punches started to feel like thunder, started to sound like thunder. And then Cotto wanted his rematch. If I don't understand how you can have a fighter spirit, you can have a dog in you, and you can watch that fight and, and not – if you genuinely believe that it was because of Austerine and it was because performance enhancers, yeah. you wouldn't want to do it again. Devin, even after being hurt in the first round, hurt in the second round, weather the storm, won rounds, it actually made it a close fight. Devin would be celebrated right now if he went about this loss a different way. And this is what people don't understand when they come at us. Deontay Wilder lost to Tyson Fury in the trilogy, but everyone loved him for it, even after he did glove gate, because the way he went out, right? And he didn't pull the glove gate stuff again after he lost in the trilogy, okay? He finally owned it. But if he would have pulled the glove gate stuff again, it would have tainted his performance in the, in the trilogy. Devin would be celebrated and he would be getting mad props if he just took the L and said he wanted a rematch, right? In the rematch, would Ryan Garcia would be one of the biggest fights in the history of the sport because of all the buildup and all the stuff that's happened. So for me, I really think, like you said, Chuck, I can understand the 50-50 analysis because it's like we would love to see them fight each other again. That would be the biggest fight. If they come, if, if Devin comes from uh, taking a hiatus and Ryan comes back from suspension and they fight each other again, that rematch is one of the biggest fights in the sport. Period. In the discussion. I totally what? agree. No, go ahead, bro. No, no, I totally agree. I yeah, totally agree. But what what's happening in between all this stuff? I don't want to hear it because I watched that fight and like we've been pointing it out, like Trill's been pointing, we've been pointing it out. Devin was in that fight. <laughs> Devin, even with trace amounts of Austin could have won that fight if he would have avoided the left hook better. He and underestimated him. Exactly. He, under he underestimated him, and he played around with him. He disrespected Ryan by underestimating him. He said it himself, and I quote, he caught me by surprise. I fell asleep. We trained for the left hook. But I went in there and fell asleep. That's what Devin Haney said. And that's exactly what happened. He was beating him when he was fighting. But he fell asleep and got caught. He lost. He admitted that he lost. And that was just saying that this is that wasn't the Austerine. That was Devin underestimating his opponent. I'm sorry. But I would love to see them get it on again. But you heard exactly. it out of Devin's own mouth. He fell asleep in there. Exactly. And so Meaning, now he underestimated his opponent. And now he's he's woke. Now his eyes are open, right? Now 
he understands what he's up against. And no one's ever really going to see Devin as undefeated until he fights Ryan again. Until he fights Ryan and he beats Ryan. If he fights Ryan and he beats Ryan, now he can really make the claim that he's undefeated. But but if he does this and he avoids Ryan, then people are going to be looking at his record like it's tainted. Like there's a huge asterisk on, on his record and it's like you got to do it again. So that's my take on it. I'd say the fans, Ryan Garcia has more fans. Ryan Garcia has more uh, marketability. So I would say Ryan Garcia's probably missed more. But them fighting each other is the biggest fight that could be made. It is. It is. Let us know how you feel in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. I'm the commissioner, Tro Dollar Bills, my brother, Katie. You already know. It's LLG for life. We the boxing bros. We just getting started.